all day. Money, power, respect. Three the hard way. What up, world? This is your girl, Bree from Three the Hard Way TV. On today's show, we gonna give you the real, as real as it can get. Now, let me introduce my co-host. I have the lovely Char with us. Say hi to the people, Char. Hi. I got my girl, Jazz, calling in from North Carolina. Hello. Jazz, you with me? Yeah, I'm here. All right. Then we got um, Ken, the B-O-N. Ladies, ladies, ladies. It's your boy, Ken. Number one, six, seven. <laughs> Boy, see you live from the hood. I'm on the block, baby. Born and bred. I'm out here right now. I'm always in the hood. I ain't ducking nothing. I'm in the hood. All right. Thank you for that um, hood monopoly. <laughs> then we got our favorite, favorite vegan, real. What's up, real? Keep it all celery. <laughs> And y'all know who this guy the guy is. He needs no introduction. You supposed to say ladies, y'all know who that is. Ow. Come I on now. The news be running up. I thought the news be running up to you in the store too. <laughs> yeah. <all right. laughs> you, you, you you the last hey, I'm like the baby. I dare nigga to run up on me at Walgreens. Fuck <laughs> 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 you talking about. Well, without further ado, let's get into to today's topic. We got an email coming in from Alex, and here's his dilemma. He said, my name is Alex. I wanted to talk about coming of age, the coming of age moment. I'm 26 years old. I have my own business, no kid, feeling like I have a lot to offer. I've been single for a few years and I'm feeling like I'm ready to move on to having children. However, the problem is I do not see myself ever getting married in the future. I met a great young lady with everything I'm looking for in a woman, but her goal is ultimately marriage. I feel like marriage will put a person in a bond and it isn't strategic when owning a business. Any advice for this young brother? Um, mm. Well, we can let the ladies go first. Well, no, I want the men to go first because I want y'all to tap into y'all younger 26 self and what you have told your 26 self. <laughs> Yeah. Um, um okay, okay, okay. Um this is what I'll say. I think that if he's if he's worried about uh something and he worried about love and all of that, print up. Plain and simple. Print up. You you gonna get out there? You feel like she the one for you? You feel like it's gonna go to the next level? Pre nup. That's it. That's all. Don't find love, find happiness. Because of, along with uh, chasing your dream and building yourself up, every successful man has a woman behind him, bagging him up, man. And and I feel like you'll go further. With finding a nice woman that loves you, that got your back, that, that supports you 100%. You need that, especially in these times we living in now. Go ahead, give her a chance, fall in love, get you a prenup if you feel like you're going to be, uh, you know, you going to take off or something. But if you love her, man, just, you know, Michael Jordan gave Juanita half. You see how he bounced back. Hey. <laughs> hey, Jeff Bezos just gave up what a few billion? Shit. <laughs> Who did? Billion. Jeff Bezos. I, I would say, I would tell him, uh, yeah, Jeff Bezos. What killed me is, uh, with him is that he said that 
He said he don't ever see himself getting married. So right there, if you don't ever see yourself getting married, why date someone that's looking to get married because you really don't want to get married? And the problem with him saying he don't want to get married and getting married with business is not strategic is because he already looking for the way out. So I would advise him like not to get married. And just because he probably think he love her now don't mean he go grow to love her to uh, to get married to her. And um, business wise, uh, I ain't gonna go deep into it, but I keep telling y'all, marriage ain't about love; it's a business. And he obviously confused, and I don't know what he mean about strategic. So don't put yourself in no positions you ain't comfortable with, and definitely don't put that woman in a relationship and try to have kids and all that with her. And she's already told you she's looking to get married, and you said I'm not ever looking to get married. So right there, you answered your own question. Sure. Well, I agree with Rio. I think he should date somebody that got the same values as he does as it pertains to marriage. He should probably date somebody that want, that don't want to be married and let someone that wants to be married find the woman that he's with now because obviously she wants to be married. So, yeah, he should probably just, you know, find somebody that don't want to. It makes sense. Like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. I feel that. Ken, what you got? I think, look, this situation is very similar. You know, I think, look, you should talk it out, get a clear understanding with your significant other. Make sure y'all on the same page. You know, follow your heart. Like, follow your gut. Follow your heart. So, she ain't, uh, if she ain't trying to bounce to your drum beat, slide on her. Kick her to the curb. Kick her to the curb. So Kick her to the now curb. People, so now relationships are disposable. Yeah. Very. Oh. Look, look at me. Look at me. Look at me. Very. Listen. Very disposable. Good example. Because it's, it's played by my rules. But you get left. I'm like Nino Brown. Counsel her. I buy another. My money long. My money long like the damn line. My money long. My boy Ken. And I'm dead serious. And I'm speaking clearly, clearly. to two women. They know who I'm talking to. I know y'all go watch. You you got you gotta be on dope and dog food. <laughs> 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 oh. Dope and dog food. Dope and hey. dog food. Okay, but listen, let me say I ain't trying to brag enough, but look, let me say this. I listen, I'm a successful chef. I work two jobs. I got my own apartment. I cook <laughs> myself. I got my own money. I got my <laughs> I got my own <laughs> money. I'm handsome. What do I need a woman for? Is he the bounce of my drum beat? Or you move around? But you just got before you just came. See, home. come on now. You, <laughs> this one, but I'm saying you doing that to re record now. Like, come on, that was to be that ain't even a fuck. Oh, like, you're not in your relationship no more. Did you was in a week ago? I mean, I mean, niggas talk, uh, niggas talk shit all day, B. Wow. They don't mean everything that's on this, this show is factual. Mm. Be cool. It's a joke. Uh, like, no. Cause you know I'm I'm I ain't had sex since the last time I had sex with you, boo. She lying, boo. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and I was come on, Jazz. What you what you got for this this young success? He just yeah. didn't date somebody who who wants the same thing he wants. He shouldn't date somebody who wants to be married if he's not um, trying to get married himself. Plain and simple. It's not like he just want kids, so maybe he should even look into um. Uh, what do they call them? Uh, what do they call there those mothers? We kid, yeah. Because he said something about kids. He just want kids, not the relationship. Well, in his uh, email, it's a little bit because he said he found a woman that's everything that he wants in a woman. He didn't list all of the specifics, but if, if he wanted, if he was dating somebody, she is that girl. She will be the poster girl for what his mm -hmm. preference is. The only thing that makes her separated 
or makes her reluctant is that at the end of the day, she's dating with the goal to get married, and he doesn't even see that yeah. in the future. He don't. He confused. He should try it. I guess I don't know. How, that's a bad way to put it. But so, if that's the only thing that's stopping it, I, and you love this woman, and, and she's everything that you want, just give it a try. You can try. I don't know. You basically married now. You might it. change his mind. Yeah. He's you know, think, maybe, maybe he think, has some marriage. I think maybe he probably has some bad examples of what marriage is. That's so right. he's basing his uh, judgment off of that. Because if she was everything he wanted, we all know you ain't in a relationship for yourself. You in a relationship for the other person. So He's saying, I'm never going to get married. He made his mind up before he even met her. So he probably got some bad examples or been around some married people that, you know what I'm saying, got divorced or, you know, big money issues because he's tying his business to it. Like, it's not strategic. And I think he's just basing it off the wrong stuff. Like Wrong advice. Absolutely. I, I, I would totally agree. And my thing is, at the end of the day, I don't, I've never heard no one say that I'm dating someone to make this person my baby mama or my baby daddy. Like, that's never been all, oh, yeah, shit, I'm just trying to get a kid about the deal. And if you're talking about strategic and logical, I will probably gamble on the marriage before I gamble on another life that can lay in the balance of possible turmoil and back and forth. And I know there's people and a lot of men that he he should know to have baby mama and what comes along with it. That's not being strategic as well. Because just as well as you feel like um, something along a prenup may or may not be because it's tied into marriage, shit, child support court is even worse. Oh, yes. I think divorce is more so of a clean split. But when there's children involved, it ain't that simple. So my thing is this, you know, it may not be something that like like you said, real, that you thought of that you thought about because I mean I was one as well that said, Hey, I don't want no kids. I babysit it enough. I don't want no kids. But here it is, now I didn't had one and now I'm longing for more children. So we just don't know how life is gonna pan out, but I don't I don't feel like you should run the risk of Losing a soulmate and a partner over some epiphanal of, oh, I just don't want to get married because I don't see myself being married. Why not? You want to bring a kid in the world out of wedlock? You mm -hmm. want them to not be a conducive, hey, my mom and dad is a unit? We got to get, we got to get, we got to get back to that. Yeah, it doesn't change nothing. I don't think that. It solidifies or jails the 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 situ the the relationship even more. It's just a piece of paper. Yeah, it's a piece of paper. But as long as that love is there and it's built on a solid foundation, I personally don't feel like you can't you can't get strategic love. Love doesn't have a strategy. Because if we did, I'm sure all these in fake intelligent unintelligent motherfuckers would have figured it out by now. Yeah. It's not strategic at all. So what uh, I personally would say to this young man, uh open your eyes, give it an opportunity, see where it goes. I mean, the signs is always there, it's warning before destruction. So if you feel like marriage is the destruction, you need to reroute this 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 ride that you want. That's what hey. I mean. And statistically, married men live longer. So, if you want to live long, my boy, get married. Yeah, if you want to talk about strategy and numbers, yeah, that's it. That's real. Is that something real or you just made that up? No, no, that's real. No, that's real. You should be researching that. You want a long, healthy life, my boy? Yep. And with your wife, and with your wife beating you every once in a while. Yes, I like that. I like that. That, that long, that longevity is too. 
Any final thoughts for this young man? <laughs> Hey bro, I, I, bro, I, I, I say go for it because you gonna look at this shit ten years from now. You gonna get you somebody that's just all in it for the money. They gonna run circles around you, whatever. You gonna, you making a big mistake by letting this person go. If you feel that it's maybe something that you can't control or is gonna get away from you, that's why I said just go with the prenup and go with the flow. She love you. If you really don't even want to, you know, you still reserved and, and your feelings and don't want to keep, you know, all this, all your don'ts, man, you got to let that shit go, man, because you don't want to live life and look back 20 years from now and regret it. And with any regrets, man, go for it, man. Go for it. All right. We got some pro marriage around here. Yeah. Hey, and then I got one thing for you, my boy. If you go, uh, you let her go, she go get married to somebody else. Don't you go trying to break that shit up, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> you gonna be on the outside looking in, man. Okay, like how much is that doggy in the window? Yeah, man, like you 26. Hey, some people can't find a girl they dream till they 46. You, you say you found that 26? What you waiting on? To give me your last name, make it official. Exactly. All right, I hear you, little mo. <laughs> <laughs> meet, meet me at the altar in your white dress. Okay, <laughs> We ain't getting no young, but we might as well do it. Yeah. <laughs> well, somebody already wrote their vow. Who <laughs> <laughs> <Ooh>, fire. <laughs> That's our final thoughts, Alex. I hope you get this video and I hope it helps you. Um, don't make permanent uh, decisions on temporary feelings because they will change. Uh, for all our viewers out there, thank you guys for watching, subscribing, hit that thumbs up button. Leave your comments, any questions, comments, concerns. If you got an issue, feel free to reach out to us. Hold on, via man. text, email. We'll no, get back be... at you real soon. Free the Highway TV. Th out. Oh, you had something yeah, to say? Yeah, I had something to say. Okay, well, come on. All I had to say was, look, brother, what's her name on Snap? And I'm going to let you know if she the one for you or not. <laughs> Just, just give me, just give me three days, and and I promise you, I'm gonna let you know if she the woman for you. <laughs> if she open that, if she open that inbox, if she open that inbox, it's over. I'm trying to see, it's over, right? Over. <laughs> what Vince Carter? Hey, what Vince Carter said in the dunk contest 2001. It's over. Over. Face, she over there. This nigga's a clown. All day, money, power, respect. Three the hard way.